Hello, beautiful. Today we're watching people bleach the sh out of their hair and try to go silver slash gray. And you know, me and gray hair have not had the best relationship in the past, but we'll see if today I get over that. Wait, 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 wait. Before we get into today's video, I am bringing back my Instagram shout out. You guys always love them. So if you want to know what my opinion about your hair is and what I think you should do with your hair, all you got to do is follow me on Instagram at bradmondomyc right there. It's linked below as well. So you can just click on the link and then DM me with your hair related question, please keep it short. Also include a picture of yourself without any filters with good lighting so I can really see your hair well. And please include your name. And I'll be picking one of you to give a shout out to at the end of each video and let you know what I think you should do with your hair. Let's watch the videos. This video is by Kate Sawtell. So I asked my Instagram if I should dye my hair silver and a lot of people said no. So I'm just gonna put coconut oil in my hair before I bleach it so it doesn't damage it as much. We just began and I have have so much to say. I'm a little worried and concerned because she has those really light pieces in the front of her head, which if she goes over those with lightener again, they're gonna snap off. They look porous as shit and dehydrated as shit. Avoid that section. Also, she has very dark hair and it looks like it might be colored. She has a lot to overcome here. She's gonna have to break through that red level, that orange level, that yellow, and get to that pale blonde in order to make this silver look good. Yeah, that's difficult. And then also, the coconut oil. I hear so many people saying this. I'm gonna put coconut oil on my hair before I color it. It's not gonna do sh it makes your hair feel really nice when it's in your hair, but putting coconut oil in your hair and then lightening it, the bleach will just eat through the coconut oil. It's not gonna make any difference, so. Sorry, coconut oil is not gonna save your life, unfortunately. Yeah, I stopped dyeing my hair for a bit, except for like these strands, which I don't really count, just because my hair was so damaged. And then now that it's finally looking like long and healthy again, here we go, time to bleach it. Sorry, hair. I feel that so much. Like the moment my hair gets healthy, I'm like, it is ready for another round of bleach. Right now, my hair is suffering. It's like, please stop. Stop with the bleach. And I've been not washing my hair too. I haven't washed it in maybe like, I don't know. All I know is my hair looks gross. Okay, it's great that she hasn't washed her hair the day of lightening it. Please, if you're gonna lighten your hair, do not wash it the same day that you're putting lightener on it. It is going to burn so bad and it's just really not good for your scalp at all. Like your scalp will get crusty and nasty and fall off and it'll be very painful. Here we we have a tub of bleach, uh, purple shampoo, two different hair dyes. We have titanium and we have chrome. Have some developer. Quick blue is very effective. It may not be the best for your hair. Every hair just right there, you can't lie. You can't lie. If you put that sh on anything, it'll be like, it will attack your hair and break through all those levels of lift. It is no joke. In this case, like she probably needs a pretty heavy lift power. I do wish she was using some kind of bomb builder so her hair doesn't get Correct, but you can only ask for so much. I already have toner. Uh, both of them are T18. I hope that it's light enough to use T18. It usually isn't. So I don't really measure. I just go by consistency. Yeah. Okay, so that looks about right. I feel that. All through my training, they're like, measure your lightener. I don't want to, okay? I don't want to. And I'm not convinced it works any better if you use uh, the exact measurements. I'm not. I refuse to believe it. There are some stylists out there who literally measure every single thing they do. I'm just not that guy. I like that she's mixing a thicker consistency. That way the lightener doesn't dry out too quickly on her head when it's open to the air. Also, another thing that to worry about is these stupid, like my little, strands right here. I'm glad that she's worrying about them and not ignoring them. Thank God, because we are not about to see these mother break off. Not today, not on my watch. So I'm just starting from the bottom sections and making sure that my hair is as saturated as possible. I'm really happy she's starting with the bottom of her hair because it's so much easier to start from the bottom and lay the hair over the bottom sections and work your way up. Also, if you start at the bottom of your hair, it's very beneficial because the front of your hair and the top is the most fragile hair of all. And usually you have the most breakage and the most dryness up there from the sun, just exposure to the elements as well as your hair is typically finer around the hairline. So that is great. And she's not touching the roots. Oh, 
could we get a good result here? I don't know, but I'm feeling like it is. I also left a little bit of room from where my roots are just so that they didn't process faster and turn like super yellow. I would really recommend if you're doing this by yourself to get a mirror in there with you so you can check the back of your head or else you don't know, something might come out looking a little wonky or something, yeah. The difference between her doing this at home and her doing it in a salon, we would have foiled every single piece of hair, um, which gives you a much more even lift as well as a brighter lift. And we would have probably used like 20 volume inside foils. That way she gets like a pale yellow result though. And it looks scrumptious without a lot, a lot of damage. But you know, open air lightning is also an option. It's definitely not as effective and it may take two or three rounds of lightning in this case. Too close to the roots. And she didn't lighten the blonde sections. Hallelujah. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go back into our sections and check to see if there's any dry hairs and just use up the remainder of the bleach. No, don't mush your hair around like that. Like, uh, she's putting the blonde pre lightened sections into the big mound of hair with all the lightener on it. Don't do that. It's time to wash it out. Whoa! Whoa. It lifted a lot. And she colored the blonde pieces. What the f I thought we weren't gonna color them. Bruh. Oh, shit. Okay, so it's bad. Oh, no. Oh, God. Okay, so she yeah, definitely has to lighten it again. So I first off just um, hit all the parts that were darker, and then I put my hair up in the bag and let it process for a bit. And then the second time is me just taking everything out and then making sure that I get everything evenly. Oh, my God. Applause. I live for the applause, applause, applause. The fact that she was putting the lightener on the darker spots first, letting them process and lift, and then putting the lightener over everything that's yellow or orange, that will give you an even lift. Yes. It's really light now. Oh. But obviously it's still super yellow. Uh, I don't know if it's quite light enough for like a silver. And then here I am, I'm mixing a bleach bath. So it is the bleach, the developer, some purple shampoo and then just like some cheap shampoo and then so I left the first bleach on for about 20 minutes and then I left the bleach bath on for I think another 20 minutes too. I would have to feel it in real life to understand how compromised your hair actually is but those poor front pieces we have lightened them 10,000 times they are probably broken off by now she probably has new layers like all around her face from those pre-lightened pieces that were there before she even started this project and now they're in that smushed into that rest of that bleach Ugh, God damn it. The only thing I care about today is those pieces. It's just not gonna do anything doing a bleach bath. You're just not gonna get a lot of lift. There. Okay, so this is how my hair looks after the third bleach. It's a lot more even. There's still some brown, browner spots, but it's ready for me to die. Wait, how come she never did the roots? I'm confused what, what happened there. Like, why are the roots still dark? So I'm just taking a semi-permanent brown hair dye and I'm just going over my roots. Oh, so she's doing a root shadow. Got it. And then I mix the hair dye with the developer and I tried my best to blend it into the brown as nice as I could. She is putting in the f work, man. Okay, so this is what it looks like after 20 minutes. Ooh, this looks promising. All right, everyone. Oh, sh so this is how my hair turns oh, out. Sh I guess I could have done better with the blending, but it's way better than before. And I think it's way better than if I were to have just left it gray. I really like my hair now. Okay, 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 okay. I just wish that root shadow was so much darker. Like I want like level five darkness on your root, like ashy, ash, ash level five. Like I want it to be dark on that root and blend into this silvery gray color you have on the ends. It would look so dope. Do a darker root shadow. It would just pull everything together and it would also like look really good with your skin tone and your complexion. I don't know how you pull that off so decently. Like, yeah. Up next, we have Michael Casillo. Um, and now I'm watching a Brad Mondo video of him reacting to people going black to silver. So I don't know if he's gonna make another one of these videos. So hopefully my tutorial doesn't go bad. That way I don't end up in one of his videos. Welcome. <laughs> this inception shit is getting weird. You guys are always talking about being in my videos and you're in my videos and it's, I don't know, it's just like, ooh, that's like confusing for me. Like he's watching my video right now and I'm watching his video and now he's probably currently watching me watch his video watching my video. That's a lot of video watching. Here I'm just cutting my hair before I bleach it. Don't cut your hair before you bleach it, if you're a dude. It burns really, 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 really bad. You're putting little abrasions on your scalp with the clippers, like don't, it's bad. It's fun in the day where I go from 
black hair to like silverish grayish color that is the blackest hair ever good luck with lightening that l'oreal quick blue powder bleach i did purchase a 40 volume developer at first but i did end up going back to sally to do 30 volume instead then we have the two quote unquote toning products that i use i then added four drops of the cooling violet color additive and mix both with this sensitive scalp 20 volume developer finally here's the semi-permanent color in titanium when y'all listen to me it is wild i could tell he studied my shit. I didn't see any THT in there. That's all I'm gonna say. I didn't see any of it. He had a full on 050, which is blue and uh, something else. And he is going to make gray with it. This is bone apple teeth. Wonderful. So the first thing I did was separate my hair into four equal sections and clip them up. Then I mixed the bleach and developer in a one to two ratio. I made sure to only put it on my mids and ends, making sure to keep it off my roots since they do process faster. I wouldn't recommend using the foil just because it did take a while for me to do this by myself. I'm shocked this guy's not a hairstylist. Like, this is really impressive. But also, don't recommend people not using foils. You need to use a foil. Well, you don't need to, but like, you should. I did let it process for about an hour since my hair does take a little bit longer to process. Processing it for an hour, yes! For you, you needed that. Your hair is so dark. This is where I started to panic a little bit and my hair looked very splotchy because of the foils. You took really, really large sections. When you're foiling, you need to take like the thinnest sections ever or else the lightener will not all get through your hair. What you can do next time is lay a foil down, take really thin sections and paint the hair. Do like five to 10 sections and then lay the next foil over that. You don't actually have to close the foils every single time. Since it took me so long to put the foil, the left side is taking a little bit longer. I should have left this a little bit or saturated a little bit more. It's very splotchy. Uh, it looks bad. Did a second round of bleach and I went ahead and applied it to my mids and ends, making sure to not get it on my roots. No, he did not do any foils this time. Time is of the essence, so make sure you are working and applying the bleach very quickly. But yeah, after I was done hitting my mids and ends, I went to my roots and then I just let it process and sit for another hour. I'm so glad he's putting a bag over his head. That always sounds bad when I say that. But it's gonna really help process that lightener and keep the heat in. I couldn't really tell what the color was since the bleach does have a blue tint. It's getting yellow! Then I went ahead and shampooed and conditioned my hair like normal. Finally revealing the super, super yellow hair that I had. Oh! It's looking so light. I opted to do one more round of bleach since I knew my hair could handle it. I wish he would have dried his hair before applying that next round of lightener. It's much better to apply on dry hair unless you want to wait like forever for your hair to process. So the next step is toning. I mix the frosty ash toner with four to five drops of the cooling violet color additive along with the 20 volume developer. Okay, professional hairstylist. The 050 is great. It is great for knocking out that yellow, but it will turn your hair a bit gray. When applying the toner, I would suggest putting it on as fast as you can. That way the color deposits evenly. Yes, exactly that. Then I went ahead and washed it out with this vanilla purple shampoo. Don't shampoo toner out of your hair. You just have to rinse it. You're gonna strip it out for no reason. And this is what my hair looked like after the toner. I really wish I just stopped here and kept this color because I think it looks super, super cool. I don't know why we're doing two toners. I think he's doing like a pre-tone and then like a real one. You don't need to do that. When I was applying the color to my hair, I kind of was just going every which way. I would suggest trying to work from back to front, just like you did when you applied the bleach to your hair. What's up, everyone? So, whoa! It's been like two days since I finished bleaching my hair. Silver, bluish. Sunlight's making it look a lot more darker than it is. That is such a cool color. It's like a titanium gray. It's actually super light. So we're in my apartment. Oh my God! This is what my hair looks like. <laughs> My God, you look incredible. Incredible. That color is so beautiful, especially in the sunlight. It looks insanely gorgeous. It's like a titanium gray color. I'm obsessed. It looks so good on you. You did a great job. Like you knew a lot about hair. I wonder where you got that from. Could it be from me? Good job, Dad. Good job. 
See what happens when you listen? See? Stunning. But there's definitely a few things you could have done better. So next time we'll get it perfect. Well, do I like gray slash silver hair more now? No. I mean, it's not the worst. I think I have PTSD from when gray hair was like the biggest thing ever and everybody wanted it. And I was like, stop. Me and gray hair just sometimes just don't get along. Anyways, that is all for today. Make sure you follow me everywhere else. Here are my social media handles and also Xmondo's handles as well. If you wanna shop my hair care or my hair color line, you can shop it right down below. We actually have a beautiful slate gray color. So if you're planning on going gray anytime soon, check it out right down below. That is all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye.